In this video, I'm going to show you my base coverage adjustments for tight sets out of the dollar three two defense in Madden 23. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be in the description below. We've updated this ebook several times throughout the year, and we're going to continue to do that. Your membership will get you access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates. So make sure to join the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description. What I wanted to talk about today is kind of what I believe is really a, a critical piece of any defensive scheme, and that is you have to have a foundation, a foundational coverage adjustments, especially for some of the best offenses in the game. And this one is for uh, the tight sets. Now, what we're going to do here uh, when we're running dollars, we want to go ahead and turn our auto alignment and our coach adjustments to base. Really quickly, we also want to take our ball and air defense, and we want to put this on play receiver option defense we're going to play that on conservative and then everything else we're going to put on default except for our zone coverage we want to turn on the match coverage uh, within this defense and we're going to show you kind of what the purpose of that is in just a moment so uh, what you're going to get when you play in dollar is you're going to get a lot of um, you know, people are going to go to tight because they're going to probably be thinking you're running man. Uh, we're actually going to be utilizing some zone coverage to defend tight. And then the other thing that I wanted to quickly bring up is tight sets in this year's game. They really do a couple of things. Um, and if you can kind of mitigate some of those key things that they can do, you're going to have a pretty significant level of success. So we're going to set some audibles here um, in the tight set. One of the other ones that I really want to show you is this bomb that we're going to show you how to stop. And that's from drive corner. And then we'll talk about some of the other things that you can do as a base coverage shell that you could pick it up. Anybody that runs tight, you could use this coverage and have a decent level of success. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come out in the cover four drop. Um, or actually, I apologize. We're actually going to come out in DB fire. What you want to do, and the reason we want to do that is because we want to audible at the line of scrimmage. It's much easier and much more disguising to the opponent when you audible at the line of scrimmage, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to come out in DB fire two, and then we are going to audible into cover four drop contain. So we're out in DB fire two. As soon as we break the huddle, we're going to be using this linebacker on the running back side and we're going to audible to cover four drop. And then we're going to press. You notice that nobody really moves really quickly. You want to make sure that you crash your D line out and then you're going to blitz your user so that four people are actually blitzing. Now I'm going to call off the dogs because I do want to show you this corner route to Calvin Johnson. And what you're going to see is if they know that you're in cover four, they have a pretty good chance at hitting this deep corner route, as you can see right there, to be able Able to attack the cover four defense this is because of the grid system in which Madden 23 is kind of built on even though they talk about zone drift logic I actually think really a better term is is is, um, is grid system right the zones are kind of based on a grid system because that corner out is cutting uh, in the in the wide side of the field because he's cutting so far inside the hash that outside quarter doesn't recognize him as being a deep ball threat now one simple adjustment is going to change that and i'm going to show you what to do and then it's also going to inform how we're actually going to be playing some defense against tight so we're going to audible to cover for drop we're going to do everything the same except the only difference is we're going to put the left side cornerback in an outside third put the left side cornerback in an outside third and what you're going to notice here is that this corner route that was killing us now we have that outside third out there and he is going to be able to basically deter uh, that that throwing lane now this is also uh, something that you'll see right here something that's actually becoming very popular um, Astra was doing this in the ultimate wildcard tournament he was running this PA cross play and essentially turning it into a shallow, uh, a shallow cross concept, which is basically we're going to take the tight end and we're going to put him on a post. And I want you to show, I want to show you something with this. So if I'm in this um, and I put this third over here on the left side, that's the only adjustment I'm going to make. Then what you'll notice is because again, the grid system, you're going to notice here that this post route, even though it's normally open in this example, you see there, okay, now it does, it is able to get some separation. But the other thing that I do want to quickly go over with you is if I go to cover four drop, then a lot of times what happens is if they try to do something like that, you might get a little bit of a different result because again, the grid system in bad. And what you'll see here is now the quarter is actually going to play. He's going to play um that that post route so that's a big deal in my opinion because that that right there is going to kind of help you understand why thing if you have a tendency if their tendency is to run a slant post concept then you might want to leave the quarter 
But if you want to put the third out here, the thing that I would recommend is to kind of craft it where you're going to put a corner on the left in an outside third, and you're going to put the corner or the safety on that side as well. You're going to take him and put him into a inside third. So you have cover four on the short side of the field, and you have cover three on the wide side of the field. Now, if they run that concept, now you have a middle third defender that's devoted to taking away this streak. And then you'll also see here that this outside third breaks down on the ball now. And if you put deep out zone knockout on him, he's going to have a decent chance at being able to actually take that away. Now let's complete this coverage with a little bit more conversation on wide side versus short side tendencies. And if they're going to run the, if you're going to get a slant route, generally speaking, people like to run backside slants. Um, you know, kind of really honestly to the wide side of the field. So what you could see here is if I was running that PA cross play, most people know that rule about what I was telling you about with the, with the, um, with the street clear out. So what they're going to do is they're going to run their slant post concept on this hash mark. So what we're going to do defensively is we're going to go to that cover four. Now to the, now the right side becomes the wide side of the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the outside third on the right side and then we're going to put the inside third on the right side now from here you can feel free to do a couple of different things um, remember they're going to probably try to flood you to the left side of the screen so what you might consider is using this defender because now you're going to be able to help yourself a little bit more on this opposite side okay and you can do things like um, you can put the slot corner in a vert hook you can put the hard flats out there right however you want to do this but what this does now, and I'll show you, is if they run that PA cross play and they have the tight end on a post, watch how this clears out zone. And you see now that outside quarter doesn't really do much for us. He doesn't really help us defend that post route in any meaningful way. So the way that we can get around that is we now have to go user it basically. But we can't necessarily, you know, leave the slant route open either. So this is why the hard flats are important, and this is also why this hook curl right here is quasi-important as well. So what my recommendation would be to do is you outside third the wide side of the field like so. We've got the hard flats out there, and then we're going to blitz our user, and what we're going to do is kind of user in that little window right there. So that way, if they're trying to put you know flood combinations on us, to that sideline. If you watch here, you're going to notice that, and we could put a curl flat over here to the right, um, but if you watch here, you're going to notice I can use her this and then lurk back to this, and that right there is a very contested throw, and now I'm able to slow down some of the main uh, passing concepts that people are going to go to when they start to see that you're in zone coverage. Now, another thing that people are going to start to do whenever they start to see that you're in zone coverage is they are going to run some kind of flood concept to the outside because we are using hard flats, right, on most of these plays. So same kind of thing. I'm going to use her onto the short side. I always want to be on the short side with my user. Uh, and what you're going to notice here is now I'm going to be able to actually help on this corner route. And the corner route's not exactly naked uh, because of the baseline press and the way the zones play uh, in this game. So these little steps, these simple steps, are going to help you defend gun tight. If you want a little bit more advanced defense, make sure that you join our Patreon. You'll get everything. We've got a ton of defensive ebooks in there, including the dollar defense. So make sure that you join the Patreon and check that out. The link is down below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.